This episode of Marijuana Today Daily is sponsored by our friends over at the Ohm of Medicine Medical Marijuana Dispensary of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Open from noon to 8 p.m. every Monday through Saturday and on Sundays from noon to 4 p.m., the Ohm of Medicine is the place you want to go to get your medical marijuana if you're lucky enough to live in the Ann Arbor area. Learn more about OM by opening up ohmofmedicine.org. That's O-M-O-F medicine.org. Good morning, Marijuana Nation. It's Friday, May 5th, 2017, and you're tuned in to episode 140 of Marijuana Today Daily. I'm your host, Shay Gunther, and I'll be walking you through today's marijuana news and headlines. As always, we have a full and busy day of cannabis news in our hands, so let's jump right into it. Our top story of the day is the first of an impressive five stories in our lineup today published over at New Cannabis Ventures. Apparently, today is a particularly heavy day for marijuana finance news. Leading things off is the story that licensed Canadian medical marijuana provider American just announced that it has raised $42.5 million in financing to expand their operations in Germany, specifically a 150,000 square foot expansion of one of its cultivation facilities just outside Stuttgart, a 250,000 square foot expansion of an additional cultivation and processing facility, and the construction of an outdoor hemp field to supply their CBD needs. Swing over to New Cannabis Ventures for all the details on this one. Yesterday, Canadian licensed medical marijuana provider the Canadian Bioceutical Corporation, or BCC, announced that it is acquiring U.S.-based medical marijuana cultivator and processor Green Mart of Nevada in a deal worth $19 million. BCC is purchasing Green Mart of Nevada through their wholly owned U.S. subsidiary, CGX, and anticipates closing on or before the end of this month. The deal is a cash-stock split. With Nevada about to open up legal adult use sales, the acquisition makes sense for BCC, who, through CGX, is also involved in the Arizona and Massachusetts legal markets. As Chris Lotlicker has pointed out a number of times on our weekly show Marijuana Today, since big money is so much cheaper to raise in Canada than in the U.S. right now, we should expect to see a lot more deals involving licensed Canadian firms swooping in with buckets of cash buying up U.S. legal marijuana assets. Our final top story of the day is another one of acquisition, though this time it doesn't involve any companies from Canada. California-based marijuana packaging firm Kush Bottles just announced that they have acquired CMP Wellness LLC of Los Angeles in a cash and stock deal worth $20 million. CMP Wellness has been in the business since 2013 and manufactures vaporizers, vape cartridges, and other cannabis accessories. Those are our top stories for today. It's time for Marijuana Today Daily Headlines Blitz. Before we blitz out on headlines, let's quickly thank our sponsor, the Ohm of Medicine Medical Marijuana Dispensary of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Located right in downtown Ann Arbor, the Ohm of Medicine is one of those places that just feels right the moment you walk in. I've been lucky enough to spend some time at Ohm and can attest to the fact that Ohm's owners, Mark and Keith, are masters at designing and operating medical marijuana retail space. Things just flow smoothly at home, both from an operational point of view as well as how they interact with their community. Swing into the home of medicine to see for yourself what a lot of smart, hard work looks like. Learn more about all the good things they're doing over at the home of medicine by opening up omofmedicine.org. That's O M O F medicine.org. All right, time for the blitz. This week in Colorado, a conference committee of state lawmakers were unable to make any progress on agreeing to what is the definition of the term open and public when it comes to consuming marijuana. Both the state house and Senate have passed pieces of legislation making that definition, but the two bills differ in their approach, hence the need for the conference committee. With the state legislative session set to run out on May 10th, it's not clear if they'll be able to get the job done in time, in which case local towns and municipalities will be left to set their own rules regarding the legality of a person smoking a joint on their front porch. Tom Angel over Mass Roots picked up on a story in Hawaii about a high level of rejection for gun permit applications thanks to applicants' stated medical marijuana use. Regular listeners should remember that it's illegal under federal law to use medical marijuana while holding a federal gun permit, with the most recent application asking about it explicitly. As Tom is reporting, a new report out of Hawaii shows that just under 13% of the 328 people who applied for gun permits in 2016 were rejected due to medical marijuana use. This is a good story to click over and read in full. As always, we have all the news we cover linked to on our website at mjtodaydaily.com and on our Twitter account at mjtodaydaily. 
This week, the Arkansas Legislative Council announced a set of emergency rules that will go into effect on Monday at noon, governing their nascent medical marijuana program. The deadline of Monday is mandated by the ballot initiative passed by Arkansas voters in the fall. The emergency rules give the state's Medical Marijuana Commission the ability to grant at least four, but no more than eight cultivation licenses, and at least 20, but no more than 40 dispensary licenses. The state's system is set to come online later next year. As Ohio rolls out their own medical marijuana program, hopeful licensees have a new potential tool in their application toolbox as a couple of insurance companies have announced their willingness to work with the industry by issuing surety bonds. Anyone wishing to apply for a top cultivation license in the state either has to show proof of having $750,000 on hand in an escrow account or the security of a surety bond issued by an authorized insurance company. As Marijuana Business Daily is reporting, one insurance provider, Continental Heritage Insurance Company, just announced that they are ready and willing to provide surety bonds to the industry. The Florida State Senate passed a medical marijuana bill that originated in the state house yesterday by a vote of 31 to 7. House Bill 1397 was already passed by the House on Tuesday, but has to cycle back that way for one last vote thanks to a number of substantive amendments made by the Senate, including the addition of a cap on the number of dispensaries licensed operators can run. Today is the last day non-budgetary bills can be worked on in Florida's legislature, so a lot of eyes will be turned towards Tallahassee to see how things play out. The first of our last two stories of the day that were also published by New Cannabis Ventures is a story that I admit to being a little biased on in reporting. Licensed Canadian medical marijuana provider AB Can Global Corporation just announced that entrepreneur W. Brett Wilson is joining their board of advisors and making a half-million-dollar investment to boot. W. Brett Wilson is perhaps best known by the general public as one of the dragons on the TV show Dragon's Den, a Canadian version of the show Shark Tank, in which aspiring entrepreneurs pitch rich investors on their ideas. I'm a big fan of the show, and while Mr. Wilson is no longer involved with the production, I hope to see some cannabis pitches make their way before the dragons sometime in the future. Our final story of the day is another wonky finance story with Innovative Industrial Properties, a Canadian-based real estate investment trust, announcing that it is spending $15 million on the acquisition and build-out of a planned medical marijuana cultivation and production facility. Concurrently, Innovative Industrial Properties is entering into a lease agreement with licensed medical marijuana provider Holistic Industries, who will use the space to produce their line of products. This is a good one to click over for all the details. Those are the headlines and news for the day. I'll be back with you again Monday morning with another information-packed episode of Marijuana Today Daily. But in the meantime, if you have any stories to share or feedback to give, zip us an email to headlines at mjtodaydaily.com. And while you're clicking around the interwebs, swing over to our Twitter account at MJTodayDaily and visit our website at MJTodayDaily.com to find links to all the news we cover. Why don't you ever see hippopotamuses hiding in trees? Because they're really good at it. Thanks to our sponsor, The Ohm of Medicine, and to all of our awesome patron listeners for the support that makes this show possible. To join the illustrious ranks of the patron listeners yourself, swing over to our website at mjtodaydaily.com and click on that big blue button at the top of the page that says become a patron. I'm your host, Shay Gunther. Thanks for tuning in and starting your day with marijuana today. Today. One take, Shay. One take.